Look at these bright, colorful, unique creations. They are not from a video game or Dr. Seuss book. They are different types of fascinating fungi that exist all around you. Let's go and explore more about them. Living Creatures of the Earth Then God said, Let the earth bring forth all kinds of living creatures. And so it happened. God made all kinds of wild animals, cattle, and all kinds of creeping things at the earth. God looked at everything he had made, and he found it very good. Evening came and morning followed. The sixth day. There are five main kingdoms in our living world. Animals, plants, protists, prokaryotes, and fungi. These incredible organisms do all kinds of amazing things in our world. They are vastly different in their shapes, sizes, and colors. They seem to come from another planet altogether. What is fungi? Fungi is a plural form of fungus. Fungi are plant-like living organisms who do not make chlorophyll and use a special method of digestion and absorption of nutrients. Some examples of fungi include mushrooms, yeasts, and molds. Fungi is found all around us, in our kitchens, outside in the air, in the ground, and even on our bodies. Did you know that scientists estimate we have up to 200 different types of fungi living on our feet? What? Yes, on our feet. We even have fungi living inside of our elbows and in our ears. Most of it is healthy. It only becomes a problem when they reproduce too much and grow into an infection. Fungi is also floating through the air all around us. There are 2,000 types of edible fungi all throughout the world that we can eat. Yeast is found naturally in the air and is used to make bread, cheese, and even some beverages. Yeast makes bread rise, right? Exactly. And guess what? Yeast is alive. These incredible microorganisms eat the sugars in flour. And as they do, they release carbon dioxide gas and ethanol. Then a protein called gluten gets to work. Wait, what is gluten? Gluten comes from the Latin word that means sticky. Gluten is a protein that works like a miraculous net that holds bread together. Gluten traps the carbon dioxide gas released from the yeast and the only place for it left to go then is up and the bread rises. This process is called fermentation and is so cool. Yeast gives our breads flavor and aroma. Have you ever smelled the wonderful scent of homemade bread rising? Yes, I love it. What a gift from our Lord. And yeast is simply floating around in our air. Incredible. What about fungus in the ground? I love seeing mushrooms grow. I know, they are so interesting. Albert, hi, how are you doing today? We are learning all about fungi, the living organisms that eat dead or decaying materials to survive. What can you show us about fungi? Fungi are not very healthy for peregrine falcons and can make them sick. But they are so helpful to humans, as long as they eat the right types. Some fungi are very poisonous. Albert, show us more. These are the parts of the mushroom. The main part of a mushroom's body is called the mycelium. It looks similar to thread-like roots, but it's the main part of its body and is alive. Mycelium lives underneath us in the soil and is vital to the health of soil, trees, and plants. Mycelium has stunning tips called hyphae. They actually move and guide mycelium threads around objects in the soil and locate the fastest path somewhere. They also search for nutrients in the soil and even communicate and share nutrients with plants and trees underground, which scientists have nicknamed the Wood Wide Web. 
So the teeny tiny tips of the mushroom body are alive? Yes, they are hard at work breaking down and absorbing dead organic material and releasing healthy nutrients in return. Remember how scripture tells us that God made everything for its purpose? He created mushrooms for so many wonderful purposes. What we see with our own eyes is the fruit of the mushroom, the stem, the cap, and its gills. These gills release spores into the air to reproduce more mushrooms. So what part can we eat? We can eat the stem and cap of most mushrooms that have been found safe to eat, and they have so many helpful properties for our bodies. Look at this one, nicknamed the lion's mane, because it looks very similar to one. Scientists have found through different experiments that eating this mushroom helps our body's immune system, kills bad cancer cells, and can help our body reproduce nerve cells that have been damaged. It also cheers up people who may be sad from anxiety or depression. Wow, that's a lot of good things. I know, and that's only one type of mushroom. Look at these. This one is bird's nest fungi. This one is called jelly ear fungus, and this one glows. It's nicknamed the jack-o'-lantern fungus. How does it glow? Glowing mushrooms actually produce their own light. They do this by a chemical reaction that occurs within their body called bioluminescence, which is similar to how fireflies produce light. The common name for this phenomenon is called foxfire or fairy fire. Oh, the depth of the riches and wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his ways, for who has known the mind of God? For from him and through him and for him are all things. To him be glory forever. That is unbelievable. I know, it's so beautiful. And guess what else? The largest living organism on the entire earth is a fungus. It's affectionately called the humongous fungus and is growing throughout the Malher National Forest in Oregon's Blue Mountains. It covers over 2,300 acres. That's an area about the size of 1,600 football fields. Scientists estimate the organism is around 8,000 years old and it's tucked away, hidden right beneath the soil where the mycelium threads continue to grow and spread, creating important nutrients for the soil, trees, and plants. I wanna go and see it. You should. Only 10% of fungi have even been discovered so far. There's 90% still to find. Will you be one of the explorers to discover the next type of fungus? One scientist who changed the entire world discovered a certain type of fungus by accident. He was a Catholic physician and microbiologist named Alexander Fleming from Scotland. The year was 1928 and he was doing an experiment by growing certain types of bacteria in petri dishes. He went away for the weekend on vacation and when he returned he found he had accidentally left one of his dishes open and he discovered that the bacteria in it was killed by a mold that was growing inside of the dish. He tested the mold and identified it as Penicillium notatum. With the help of some additional scientists at Oxford, they developed the mold into penicillin, a life-saving antibiotic that changed the course of our world. They sent it to soldiers who were dying from infections during World War II and it is now used to treat all kinds of bacterial infections. Researchers estimate that between 200 to 500 million lives have been saved through penicillin. The Lord tells us in Jeremiah 29 11, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to give you a future full of hope. If God used Alexander and his curiosity to save hundreds of millions of lives, 
and bring hope all over the world. Can you imagine what he could have planned for you and your own life? I have no idea. Neither do I. Only God knows. He gave each and every one of you a unique set of gifts and talents to go out into the world and use them to honor him and to help others. So everyone may see the hope and glory of God through you. Just like he did through St. Albert the Great, who our wonderful scientific guide and falcon is named after. St. Albert's discoveries in science changed our world. What? Albert? There's still more? Where? On trees, on rocks, and even in the soil. This is lichen, a bizarre organism that is not only fungi, but both fungi and algae. They live mutually together in what is called symbiosis. Lichens can be anywhere from decades to centuries old and play a vital role in keeping our natural world working. They not only come in gorgeous colors and shapes, even glowing spectacularly under black light due to their fluorescent properties, they also provide nesting materials for birds, mammals, and insects. They play an important role in our ecosystem's mineral cycles by absorbing harmful chemicals, fixing nitrogen gas into usable molecules, and releasing moisture and healthy nutrients into the air. Whoa, I had no idea. They are so special. They earn their nicknames, including Nature's Pioneer because they can colonize on bare rocks, and Nature's Antibiotic because some forms help kill bacteria. Some lichens are poisonous, however, so make sure you never touch or eat any type you find in nature without checking with a fungi-educated adult first. Or a mycologist, which is a scientist who studies fungi. Albert, who knew how important fungi was to our world? Thank you for showing us so much. I will never look at mushrooms or trees the same again. Hey Albert, where can you take us to next? Reptiles, I want to learn all about adorable turtles and colorful crazy lizards. <laughs>